video we will see the graphics of frequency distributions and within this we will see the four types of the graphic presentation first the histogram second frequency polygon third one is a smoothed frequency curve and fourth one is OGIPS or cumulative frequency curves see the all four are interdependent or interlinked this is the four types of your presentation of the same data and uh, second third and fourth one is dependent on the result of histogram so we will see uh, on the paper that how we can calculate the histogram and the other data presentation one by one now uh, this is my personal collection of the books i have uh, more than 3000 other books and once upon a time I was also engaged in some cultural activity. Let's see. Uh, dear students, let's see. Uh, you have to study the histogram. Histogram. No, uh, let's uh, go. Now you have to study the first histogram, second frequency polygon, third. smooth frequency curve and fourth one is OGIPS or cumulative frequency curves see the we will see here the uh, one by one what is the histogram what is the frequency polygon the smooth frequency curve uh, or gibbs or cumulative frequency curve see the all this see the all uh, fourth are interlinked and here the main data is actually the histogram so here the second third and fourth one is dependent on the histogram now we will see the, what is a histogram uh, I think the marker is not so working and the market is also closed anyway uh, now let's uh, start so now let's say what is the histogram a histogram is bar graph that represents a frequency distribution the white represents the interval and the height represents the corresponding frequency there are no space there is no space between the bars now here what it means the the histogram graph that represents the frequency or if you know the word is a frequency frequency uh, frequency distribution and the white represent the interval now what is the interval and what is the frequency the interval is see the when sometime we are saying that is uh, now let's see here like 
10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 50. What is this? This is the interval and it can be many things. It can be uh, number can be anything. It depends on the the net, the which kind of data we have. Say for example, if we are uh, calculating the per capita income, then definitely it will not the 10 or 15 or it may be like that here we can say that thousand so data is in thousand it simply mean a 10,000 to 15,000 15,000 or say for example if we are calculating the uh, average uh, profit of the companies then definitely it will be the crores so that's depend on the nature of the data so this is called the uh, interval this is a kind of interval and what is the frequency frequency means that uh, frequency denotes the uh, the number of see the uh, the data I mean see the how much data falling under this interval say for example if this is an income or it may be anything say for example that between the 10 to 15 so falling two three so five five three what whatever this is called the frequency that how many times data or how many times variables are coming under the particular interval so this is an interval and this is a frequency now here uh, now you can uh, go by the data say for example the frequency what is a frequency frequency table that is a, a table that shows the frequency of data values in same size intervals now here when I'm saying this again that is this is important see so this is a table that shows the frequency of data value in the same size of interval now this is a very important that the interval size should be the same otherwise we cannot calculate uh, just for example where huh, okay now for example uh, say that uh, this is the 15 to 20 20 25 25 to 30 and here uh, we are writing 52 200 200 to 210 and it may be 210 to 500 now here uh the frequency what we will say the same size of the interval here the size of interval is not same why because here the size of interval is five here five 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 again it's a five but the 50 to 200 it's uh, 150 and 200 to 210 it's again 10 and 210 to 500 it will be around uh 280 so here the interval is not the same so we cannot draw the data here but even we can draw the data we'll see this later on okay so this is called the frequency i think the students all if you know that what is the uh, interval and what is the frequency i've told you earlier also so that is a no problem for my student now come to the uh, come to the this here the frequency sorry histogram now what is the histogram we will try to draw here the histogram see the histogram uh, we can draw the data it's a very easily uh, we can take any raw data uh, here uh, this is also important that uh, Yes, here uh, the class intervals and frequency. See, the whenever we are drawing the data, we are drawing the data like this. This is called the x axis, and this is called the y axis. 
Now here this is called the class interval. So always it will be the class interval in any kind of the data. And here we are drawing the frequency. Now here frequency. I think you can read it the frequency. Now the here what is the rule? Uh, we have seen the this earlier here sorry that same size of the interval so intervals should be it can be anything say for example in the last is five then it will be five every every time it should be the five so it's a five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five and so on and here the frequency again it will be the very un uh, it will it will it, it should also be in the similar fashion so it not be that here there's 10 15 and we can take the 200 no the ratio should be the same it may be the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 or it may be 100 200 300 400 500 or 1000 like whatever that is called the frequency now here are uh, this is not related with uh, today's class but uh, I told you earlier in the previous classes that sometimes we have the last data for example that this is uh, 100 I'm just giving an example now this represents the 200 so here you write 100 you write 200 but if the ratio is like 100 and 200 then what will be the 500 we have to draw here like 500 but how we can draw say for example the 50,000 or 1 lakh that is that that is that will be impossible because we need the very long size of the paper therefore we we are doing we are the breaking the data say for example here we are giving this kind of symbol that is a breaking and here we can write the 5000 so i told you earlier that this is called the breaking of the bar why because we cannot draw the data with the same ratio okay now come to the histogram so very sim simple so here again uh, we have the raw data you can draw the raw data anything like uh, say for example uh, we are talking about uh, uh, marks of the student okay say for example it is 60 i think this ink is over Actually, now the market is close. No, this everything. Say, for example, 60 marks, the 65, it may be the 80, it may be 90, then it may be 71, 72, 81, 82, so 100, of course, it's 100, 85, then again. 86 or whatever 73 so no matter at all okay now here the no we have to draw the data uh, like this this is a x axis and this is a y axis here this is your class value and this is your frequency this is a frequency now here how we can draw the data now see that's uh, the class values depends on the nature of the data uh, I think uh, it will be better to draw uh, say for example you can take more data so it will be very easy for the 40 also okay so now first of all what you should do is should arrange this data in the ascending order or descending order that's not matter order but first you should arrange this data okay otherwise it will be very difficult to draw this okay and then we have to uh, draw the class value so here we are taking the 10 uh, you can take also 5 5 5 okay I'm taking the 5 so here uh, what is the smallest data here this is a 30 okay so let's start with 30 40 50 this is 60 70 
80, 90, that's 100. Okay. Now here, the one more question is that no. Where is your paper here? Okay. No, why? See, uh, no, let's see. So we are drawing the data like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So what it means? Here we are talking about 10, sorry, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, uh, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. Now here, uh, if someone got 30 marks, here 30, yeah. so where we will put her or him? Here or here? Or if someone got the 50 marks, so where we should put within this in class interval or this a class interval? Now the rule is that whenever you are saying the continuous class interval, this is called continuous class interval. Say for example, 10 to 15, 10 to 15, 15 to 30, 30 to 45, 45 to 60 or like this or 10 to 20, 20 to 30. This is called continuous class interval. Now the rule is that here we can put from 40 to up from 40 to less than 50 okay and here from 50 to less than 60 so from 50 that is a 50 and 50 onwards it may be 15.1 it may be there or 001 whatever is 50 maybe 00001 it will become here and but it should be less than 60 so it may be like 59.999 or whatever that will come here in the similar way the 40 from 40 to less than 50 any number less than 50 will come here any number less than 60 but greater than 50 will come here okay now so again sometimes you have the question like 10 to say for example like 19 19 to what is it in 19 to 30 no so 9 10 to 19 okay so no it's not 19 it will be 20 okay so 20 to 29 30 to 39 now here what is the problem that's what is stated in your book and your book is wrong here now your book is saying and you can find it there that uh, the problem with I think not in your book in somewhere somewhere else I have read okay sorry it's not in your book I read that somewhere else so here uh, where we will put say for example 19.5 so 10 to 19 but what about the 19.5 here the 20 to 29 so what about the 29.5 or whatever so here we will have the same problem in general but see actually we will have no problem why because in this way we can put here from 10 to 19 so whatever is 19 say for example from 10 everyone understood it and understand it so from 19 means 19 19.999 whatever it will become here so in this way we will not count like from 10 to less than 19 why because if you we'll count the less than 19 and here we are calculating from the 22 less than 29 again we are here calculating the 30 to less than 29 then we cannot count here 19 at all that's why if the data is given like this 10 to 19 20 to 29 30 to 39 then here we have to call, uh, uh, here we have to count from 10 to 19 so whatever data is there we have to count here okay but if the data is in like 10 to 20 20 to 30 then we have to count we cannot count here 22 times 
so here we are counting 10 from 10 to minus sorry from 10 to less than 20 but here we are calculating from 10 to 19 every number now come here so here uh, no it's very easy uh, so no here we have to 30 no so it's a less 30 I mean no one got below than 30 so between the 30 to 40 how many students got marks between 30 to 40 no you can see the between 30 to 40 no it's not 30 to 40 why right? because the 40 will come in the between the 50 sorry 40 to 50 so here so one I think one yes only one student so what we have to how we have to draw like one two three four five six seven eight this is a frequency now the 30 how many students got 30 only 30 to 40 only one student so here this is a one we will draw this one and how many students got with from uh, 40 to 50 here the 40 so 40 will not come under the 30 to 40 40 will come under the 40 to 50 so here we can say so one I think only one yes only one student so here we, again we can draw this and 50 to 60 one the students perform very well. No, here I can go the 40. 40 was a two times anyway. This is the 40. The 50 is only one times. 50 to 60. So here we draw this like this. And 60 to 70. This is 61. 2. Yes, 2. So it will come here 2. 70 to 80. 80 will not come under the 70 to 80. 80 will come under the 80 to 90. So 70 to 80, 1, 2, 3. Now here, this is a 3. 3 is here, okay. And 80 to 90, here 81. 90 will not come under the 80 to 90, rather it will come under the 90 to 100. So 80 to 90 is a 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. So it will come here like five and ninety two hundred ninety two hundred one only one student. So how will draw hundred? Hundred it's again one. Now this is the histogram histogram is nothing but the presentation of data in the bar but here what is different between the bar and the histogram that the frequencies should always be equal anyway by practice the bar diagram should be also like this so there's no much difference between by diagram and histogram I think students if Sometimes it will look like better. Okay. Sometimes it's better to color blue, green, and other colors. Okay. So I think, students, this is a. I think this is enough to understand what is the histogram if the class interval is equal now uh, before going to Paul Guion we will I will, we will see the another example where the class interval is not similar or you can see the uneven uh, how we should draw the data if there is an uneven class interval let's say for example we can draw here I think because see the ink I have the lots of yes 
while saying this you can find the same here I think it will be visible this is a piece number 414 here we have the monthly wages and the number of workers so the monthly wages is class interval and the number of wages is a frequency now here we have the no problem to draw the data for 3000 to 3050 because the the class interval is a 500 so all here the class interval is a 500 555 500 500 so no problem at all but here we can see there's a class interval is 1000 5000 to 6000 and here class interval is 6000 to 8000 it simply mean that class interval is 2000 and again 10 to 10000 sorry 8000 to 10000 again we have the class interval of 2000 so here it's a sort of very difficult to draw the data but we can draw this uh, your book you can find it here the data I think it must be visible but uh, the problem with this book is that is an, they are not giving a region that how this data has come and why this only why not the other data no I'm telling you the region see I can give I can give you another example but see the none of my marker is working right now anyway now come here so here uh, I mean in your book just consult the book is a page number 415 okay now uh, just, this is an example when the class intervals are unequal no how we can draw this we can draw the number of worker this is a frequency and this is a interval so here 3k and 3.5 so 4 4.5 5 5.5 the 6 is a thousand okay now but after the 6000 we now 5000 we have the 6000 and after 6 we have the 7 then we have the 8 we have the 9 we have the 10 now see the if you go to the this data this is a very easy to draw like uh, uh, I'm not drawing in the say for example this is 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and so on so here it's a very easy to draw the first is 3000 to 350 the number of worker is 7 so 7 will come somewhere before 10 it's a very easy then the 19 19 will come here like less than 20 and 4000 to 4050 is a 27 27 will come somewhere here and the income of 4500 to 500 is 15 so it will come 15 where is 15 15 is here it will come like this now the problem is with this set of the data here the 5000 to 6000 they are 12 worker no or we can calculate it the answer is very simple uh, so uh, see the class interval is a 500 but here we have to show the 1000 or we can see, see the 1000 see the from the 5000 to the 6000 see so from here the 5000 and here the 5500 because see the all interval is 500 and here it will become the 6000 so we have to draw like this this is a 12 labor so 12 divided by 2 that is 6 6 will come somewhere here 5000 to 6000 no why this is a 2 because see we are drawing here with the class interval of 500 okay now but this is 
here you can find the class interval of for 5000 to 6000 that is a 1000 so we have to divide uh, uh, we have to uh, I mean the scale down on the 500 so 500 plus 500 it will be the 1000 so how we can draw the class interval of 1000 that is this is a 500 to 500 so we have to put here the demarcation mark and we will not put here 12,000 we will put here the 6,000 uh, here we will print the 6 this is a 6 this is a 15 this is a 27 19 you can see this in the book why so now just think about the, see the we, we are we cannot ensure ourselves that how many see it may be possible that some levers okay so now come to the next so here uh no if we will put the 12,000 see it means that 12 plus 12 it will be 25 but when we are putting the 6 it means that we are putting the two data that is a uh, 4500 to 500 and 500 to 550 so the symbol of like uh, i'm just saying in this way that if sometimes data is saying like this like this and like this and you have five five it may be the four whatever it simply means you have to multiply four with three one two three it simply means but if there is like one two three four five one two three four five six here the six and if the data is two then two into six okay so here we have the uh, one demarcation so it simply mean that we are talking about the two times six so it simply mean the six six into two so one two okay now come to the next uh, next is again saying the uh, this is a uh, four to five that is a one thousand next one is six to eight now it says a six to seven seven six six point five seven seven point five then it's eight that's a huge okay now but what is the number here uh it's a 12 so it's come under the five times 500 so one two three four no four times 500 okay so 2000 it's a gap is 2000 and we are calculating data with the class interval of 500 so 500 equal to 4 so we have to put next data in the 4 class interval like so we say 1 2 3 4 okay so now but uh, now see here income between the 6000 to 800 is a 12 so the 12 divided by 4 what is the answer 3 so we have to draw so 3 where it will come 3 obviously it will come 3 here 3 we will write 3 and we will mark this 1 2 3 it will be 4 where is a 4 this is a 1 this is a 2 this is 3 this is 4 so it simply mean that 4 times 3 why why 4 times 3 because we are calculating data with class interval of 500 now here what is the problem that maybe that some uh, work uh, just just think hypothetically that uh, no one working with 7500 to 800 that is mathematically possible but we don't know at all so we are spreading these 12 workers into this 
2000 interval what it means so here we are calculating data with the 500 in uh, the interval of 500 rupees and this is a 2000 so 5 2000 divided by 5 it will be the 4 therefore we will divide here 12 by 4 it will become 3 so here we will put the 3 now see the next data next data is saying that uh, oh, here is the data of uh, two eight workers are getting between eight thousand to ten thousand this is eight thousand this is eight thousand five hundred this is nine thousand nine thousand five hundred is ten thousand but how many eight worker so here what is the different uh, the class interval is two thousand but we are working on class interval of five hundred so again the same thing we'll do two thousand divided by 500 it will be the 4 therefore we will divide the number of workers is 8 by 4 it will come 2 so where we will put 2 we can put 2 here something but we have to divide this interval into 4 parts so 1 2 3 it will become 4 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 4 into 2 it will become 8 okay so here we put 2 okay so uh, this is the rule when the class interval is unequal so uh, obviously uh, even we have the unequal class interval then we have to put that data with some predefined class interval uh, here the 1 2 3 4 4 sets of the data already have the class interval of 500 therefore we are putting 500 500 500 500 again this is also 500 and 500 so we are putting two data so here we are dividing 12 into 2 that is a 6 here uh, that is a 12 into 4 that will be that that is a 3 and this is a 8 divided by 4 that is a 2 so we can draw data like this when we have the unequal class distribution now what you have to remind remember here you have to remember your very simple thing so for example there is a class interval is 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 now class interval is a 5 again again every time is a 5 but if data is like 30 to 40 40 to 100 like this then uh, here if we have a class interval of 10 and here we have a class interval of 60 so what we have to do we have to do that uh, whatever we have the data now oh, I forget to put data say for example this is the frequency like uh, here we can see just think hypothetically the 20 that is a 40 that is a 30 12 5 10 whatever this is a frequency say for example this is a frequency this is class interval now the what is the i mean the here uh, the interval is the 5 5 5 5 so up to here we have the no problem we can put the 10 5 whatever here because of the class interval is 10 which is greater than 5 so we have to do 10 divided by 5 it will be 2 so here we have to put this 40 whatever is a 40 is between the 2 that is a 40 divided by 2 that is a 20 so 20 plus 20 here the class interval is 60 we have to divide 60 with a 5 what will be so we have to divide this 120 into 12 that will be 10 so we have to put 10 
not 120. How we will do this? Again, I'm giving another example. So the 10, no, 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 no. This is 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, no. See here we cannot draw like the Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, ninety, hundred, hundred, ten, hundred, twenty. Okay. Now then here uh, between the what is the frequency? Ten to fifteen. This is a ten to somewhere here is a fifteen is ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. 70, 80, 90, whatever. So it is a 15, 10 to 15, it's a 10. So you are in 10, 15 to 20, it's 5, 15 to 20, it is a 5, uh, 20 to 25, 20, 20 to 25, is a 20 here, but 20 to 30. Is again 5 20 to 30 is a 5 here, but how we'll draw this 30 to 40? 30, 30 here is a 30 to 40. Okay, now 30 to 40, we have the 40. So, here what we will do, we will put this, we will divide this 40 into 2. Why? Because we have the 2 times class interval that is a 10, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So here this 40 will also divide by the 2 that is a 20. So what here is a 20 here 20 but this is the 20 this is no oh uh, yeah sorry 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 so this is just a mistake it will be 25 to 30 it's a 30. So it will come here, not here. Okay, Th that is a mistake. So here it will be 20, but we have to put this kind of the mark. So it means that we have to calculate 22 times 1 for 30 to 35 and second for 30 to 40. Similarly, uh, between the 40 to 100, this is a 40 and where is 100? Here is 100, and we have the 120 so because we are calculating data with the class interval of 5 therefore here is a class interval of 60 so what is the 60 here we will put so we will divide it by 60 by 5 it's it will become 12 okay and again here we will divide it the 120 by so we have to divide this with the 12 class interval okay so 120 divided by 12 it will be the 10 so 40 to 10 it will be for sorry 40 to 100 it will be the 10 where is 10 10 is here but we have to also divide into 12 here we will come 40 to 45 we have to do nothing but we have to put like this it will be called 10 because of the 10 is the 10 is a result of division of 12 therefore we can say that 10 is actually 10 into 12 that is a 120 here it's a 20 into 2 it was a 40 okay so this is how this was the 30 this is 20 this is the 5 this is the 10 this is how we can divide uh, draw the histogram if class is di uh, distributed sorry uh, what is this uh, interval is a uneven interval 
No, the next one is Okay, next one is not a very good thing. You can do very easily. This is the if only see here I'm not going by Oh, no, here you can uh, find it on page number 415 so here I'm not going in detail because all of you know this when the only mid value value is given so here the mid value is uh, 1010 1030 1050 1070 1090 form a the form B so if the mid value is given then how we can draw the data that's a very simple uh, simple is so that is 100 110 and 130 150 107 so how I mean which class interval will have this kind of the midpoint the answer is a very simple that this is represent 1000 to 1020 this is 1020 to 1040 1040 to 1050 see so this is a midpoint so we can calculate it very easily so that is a not the very good sorry that's not the big deal and after calculating this you have to draw the histogram in the same way the same fashion but here uh, I mean up the book may have two sets of data the area and this is the result of the two sets of the data and why two sets, sets of the data is given here that is also important we will see that later on okay now we have to draw okay is it I think uh, it's over now we have to draw uh, here what is the frequency polygon it is a very 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 simple and nothing you have to do nothing you have to think about nothing so that is I mean very simple uh, you can already draw this if the, if the histogram is given or first you have to draw the histogram so start from here and take the midpoint of the every bar okay so it will and is the next next frequency this is polygon in the previous data you have to start from zero and put the mark between the bars okay this like this and you have to join you have to join this point okay for this example how we can draw the polygon start from here and put dot between the oh no here not here okay the bars and joint like this the last you have to also put you have to also draw up to last bar so this is just all about polygon that was the second and what is the third one is third one is a smooth frequency curve so what is this smooth frequency curve this is a nothing then again this is a kind of polygon 
Now this is not look like say for example drawing like 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 this. This will not look like a smooth. So what is the smooth frequency curve? That is nothing but the you can say the modified version of the polygon. So you have to draw like this artistically. No, here it will like instead of draw this so it will be like this okay so here the smooth frequency curve how it will look like this will not look like like a machine it will look like very smooth okay again how it will look like see this is this will not look like 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 this rather you have to draw i mean the very gently very precisely which look like cut okay so this is all about the smooth frequency curve now the question is what is the importance of a smooth frequency curve no come to the next use of here no 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 yes this one okay so first you have to draw the histogram and this is uh three way to draw the histogram i mean now three kind of the data you may have the first way the cross class interval is very equal like 10 to 15 15 to 30 or 10 to 20, 22, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 60, like this. That is a equal class interval. Second, you may have the unequal class interval. What is the unequal class interval? Like, uh, say for example, here the equal class interval look like this. 20, 22, 30, 30 to 40. But unequal may look like 40 to 60, then 60 to 100, 100 to again 100. 10, it may be 10, 10, 10, 100, 10 to 500 or like this. Okay, so in this way you have to uh, put this data with the class interval of 10. So how we can do this? The 100 minus 60, it will be the 40, but we have here we are using that class uh, calculating the data with the class interval of 10. Then you have to divide. 40 with 10 it will become 4 so you have to divide this data into four parts okay now that's it and what is the frequency for uh polygony that is nothing nothing it is so uh you have to draw like what is the different now come here what is the different between now What is the different present tool? See, say for example, the data is like this. You have to draw exactly like like this. So the result will be maybe look like this. This is the polygon. But the smooth frequency will look like the same data, it will look like or we can just one minute and okay. So now see the same data, it may look like this. This is a P O L Y G O N but it 
a smooth frequency curve will look like this this is the presentation of the same data so this is just because we are drawing this smoothly so that is called a smooth and nothing uh, that's a very simple okay now come to the next uh, next is a cumulative frequency curve and what is a cumulative cumulative I have told you earlier that uh, whenever we are drawing the data cumulative it simply means that uh, like uh, no okay on before going that what is the use of this so I was just about to tell what is the use use is that we can compare the two data sets see here uh, in the where is this in the histogram we, where is the histogram uh, say for example this uh, this was the histogram that is no, no, no it's better to draw again this is an example of the histogram see can we draw the two data simultaneously say for example this is for college A and this is for college B like whatever we cannot draw the two sets of data in the same graph say for example we cannot draw data like this this is for college B that is impossible and it will not look like good so what we can do here we can convert it in the polygony or the uh, here frequency polygon or the smooth frequency curve so if it may be that uh, okay and so here we can say this is college A and dot 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 college B so here we can compare some data it may be anything that is a no problem at all and you can find it in the newspaper or in the magazine books and so on so Uh, dear students, now uh, we will see the OGIPS or the cumulative frequency curve. Now, first, you should know that uh, what is a cumulative. Now, uh, in your book, you can find from page number one, sorry, four, one, eight to 4 to 6 so okay don't worry what is a cumulative so cumulative is I'm just saying say for example this data is a 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 32, 35, 35 to 40. This is a interval, right? And frequency is you can take any number like uh, 5, 6, 7, 10, 2, 5, 10, 20, 25, 20, whatever. That's so a no matter at all. This is a frequency, okay? Uh, no no uh, you can arrange this data in the two way now since you know that the meaning of 5 to 10 means you have to count from 5 to less than 10 and here from 10 to less than 15 so it has the two meaning first is more than 5 now here you can see that who got marks more than 5 more than 10 more than 15 more than okay 
another is who got the marks less than 40 less than 35 less than 30 less than 25 less than 20 less than 15 and less than 10 the question is okay now so here the what is the cf cf will be here 5 it's a 5 here 5 actually this is a 0 plus 5 it's a 5 here you have to 5 plus 6 it will be 11 and 11 plus 7 it will be 18 18 plus 10 it will 28 28 plus 2 30 30 plus 5 35 35 plus 20 it will be 55 this is a cumulative data cumulative frequency cf i had told you earlier also i mean you can remember this now how we can draw the data i will see the what is use now see uh, we can draw this data like this is a x axis this is a y axis here uh, we have to say the frequency that is of this is the 0 this is 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and 40 okay now this is uh, frequency frequency it will depend on the data so data is like a 50 so uh, we can take the 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 here 50 okay now how how we can draw the data it's a 10 it's a 10 to 5 it's a 5 so just point out here to 5 10 to 15 it's 11 11 just is a above than 10 15 to sorry here 15 to 20 this is 18 this is a cf okay now this is 18 it will be somewhere here now uh, 20 to 25 it's a 28 uh, yes sorry 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 yeah, 10 to oh uh, yes this is a 18 now here 20 to 20 20 sorry 25 to 30 it's a 30 25 to 30 here's a 30 it's like uh, somewhere here 30 then 30 to 35 it's a 35 35 it will be something will be here and 35 to 40 it's a 55 so 55 will be here something like here so we have the, this kind of data okay now so just because of the i mean nature of the data it's a come like this else it can be like this or like this that's all depends on the data variables and you know uh, that is hypothetically possible now what is the use use of data is that see the if you draw or uh, okay like again i'm giving the same example uh, like this See, it cannot draw uh, more variables here. So, sometime in the news article, you may see the data like this is, say, for example, India, and this is a USA, and this is a literacy rate. So, it may be that this is an overall literacy rate for the India, this is overall and this is a male because here we know the female have the less literacy rate than male so here we can see this is a total this is a male this is a female and at the same time we can draw the data for the us 
where you guys have the almost 100% literacy rates so it will come like this okay but here we have the very limited possibility to compare the two sets of the data say for example here we have the actually not two sets of data rather the three sets of data uh, two here the say for example total male female for the India and total male female for the US there are six sets of the data but uh, this is I mean see this is a very I'm just give you a very easy example of the literacy rate otherwise we have the very complex data about the business about the many other things now here in the community data we can say that uh, maybe say for example if you are comparing between the colleges or the department then we can say this is a college one this is a college two this is college three this is a college four now it may be i don't know see the maybe that uh, this is sewing or uh, uh, the, uh, the economic background of the student okay so the college two is showing that uh, uh, students are coming relatively from the poor background now this data is showing so if this data is about the economic background of the students and this data this college have uh, somehow they are, they are I mean they are studying from the better of the family from the better of or you can say that this one is more better or this one is a far not better this is not the good word at all we can say that so they are uh, coming from the uh, more economically prosperous family it may be because say, say for example if you are studying the private college and they are charging like 10,000 per month, 20,000 per month, 50,000 even per month or 1 lakh uh, then obviously uh, uh, these students cannot study here for example uh, if you go to, uh, you can take example of like the MIT University it is a private university I'm just giving example and their fee is for undergraduate is around 4 or 5 lakh but everyone cannot afford it so who will be who will study there maybe that if you are adding that data they will start from here not from here like this or maybe something so here we can compare very clearly that uh, what that uh, we can compare between the different sets of the data so this is the use of the cumulative cumulative uh, uh, frequency or we can say the, the data of data of the commonly cumulative frequency which is called the OGIPS so this is OGIPS now here uh, what is the similarity between these see the same data first you have to draw the histogram and on the basis of histogram you can draw the polygon and see the polygon and smooth frequency curve both are the sim simple thing uh, this is uh, I mean like this 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 where the smooth frequency will be like this okay so this uh, the frequency polygon and the smooth frequency is directly based on the histogram and for all gaps you two have to I mean it can go from the histogram or directly you can draw the uh, cum cumulative frequency curve which is called the OGIPS now uh, in your book you have the one more example what is that now uh, what you can do uh, you can find it here on page number 419 uh, this data is given here and this is a community frequency but no I think camera will capture this what is this see the I mean here the, this is a max less than 9.5 19.5 and so on the 15 9.5 there's a frequency okay this is a cumulative frequency now how they got to this is a zero and uh, they're just adding this this is you know and percentage so now here the important thing is the how they got this one see there's a two way to hear the cumulative cumulative frequency he, content from the zero but in another book you may find that we have to uh, got this from the see the uh, 
adding from the previous frequency here since we have the no previous frequency so we have to I mean add the 0 0 plus 9 it will be 9 okay and 9 plus 92 it will be the 51 51 plus 61 it will be 112 and so on so in the sum book you may find here the 9 and some they are saying the 0 but 0 is not the good answer at all but maybe this is a fashion for the commerce why I'm saying the commerce because this book is not written for the sociology student this is written for the commerce student anyway now we can do one more thing here we have the percentage of marks and so on the cumulative frequency that is a same so I say total is a 700 we can scale down the this frequency into 100 so 7 100 means the 100 okay so what we have to do we have to scale down on the uh, 100 so we have to do just divided by 7 okay so we can scale down or we can say that we have, we have to convert the all data uh, within the 100 percent and then we can get these kind of the data only gives okay and what is the use of this data this use of this data is again like uh, i have told you here so for example if you have data this i'm just drawing this one okay what it mean it simply means that the maximum see the mac, very uh, maximum student got around 70 marks okay so maybe the other college may perform better so they can have a data like this or very few students i mean we can see that uh, it may be anything like uh, maybe that uh, the another college have starting from 50 marks so no one no any students are getting less than 50 marks so data will show i mean the how the students are performing or we can have the many sets of the data for comparison so i mean every Thing is the same thing now here now that's why I was saying that before uh, counting this only gifts you can also go through that by uh, getting the histogram so this is the raw data this is the histogram and on the basis of the histogram they have drawn this data okay uh, I think uh, this is enough everything is the same and you know what is the tally bar if we have the say for example this, this is a very scattered data and this is also very uh, tough to arrange it so what you have to do you have to say for example 78 so where this will fall under 78 so between the 75 to 80 so you have to uh, tally here the one and you have to cross here 25 then here between the 25 30 you have to put one mark uh, uh, tally here and you have to cross here so this is the tally bar only you know this uh, this is this was used when we had no computer so this is the number of tally is equal to number of frequency and on the basis of that they draw the histogram okay and uh, uh, I had already told you what are the limitations of the diagram or graph. Every mathematical calculation have their own limitations. So, if you have any question, uh, then please let me know and uh, visit stuty with anil.com and uh, you may find this lecture there with uh, some description a description maybe that description will be available later on and you can comment there and you can also share and if you have any question then you can ask and it was a very wonderful moment with you and all of you are doing very well
and dear students i think uh, you have understood this that how to calculate uh, the histogram frequency polygon a smooth frequency curve and polygips or cumulative frequency curves so if you have any problem then uh, just let me know you can either comment on the youtube or you can comment on the study with anil or just let me know by other way also you can also mail me you have my mail id and uh, it, this was a very wonderful uh, days with you and uh, some of you were the very serious students some of you not uh, i think half of this class was very regular in the class and i can remember you and many students even i am not able to I recognize them sometimes students are coming that sir i am your student oh, and i was confused really that <laughs> that was the reality uh, but anyway this is the last class for uh, research method and uh, i don't know how i taught you but uh, i too had the some limitations like uh, uh, i had only one class with you and uh, that was a very difficult to teach with just one class a week sometimes when you was forgetting that what i taught in the last class sometimes when i forget that what i taught in the last class so somehow i managed to complete the course and sometimes i managed the classes also and uh, of course we have the lots of other work and the teacher I mean, they can. Any teacher can teach only two papers. I think uh, that this is international standard. Or in the many big university teacher are teaching just one paper a semester or two paper a semester, so they can think continuously that how they can make uh, good classes or the interesting class. I think you can remember that I always try to give the very real life example. Real life example means the day to day example. Uh, which you are uh, living with them you are living with that reality or you are experiencing that reality in your everyday life class should not be boring i always used to say in the class and at the same time uh, i always try to connect the class with society and i always used to say that why we are studying this uh, we must have some utility or if not then we must have find a utility of the classes so this is my last class <laughs> of course i'm not feeling good but uh, of course i should feel good because you know after the end semester class when we become the graduate and uh, i wish to join the master degree classes or wherever whatever you do do that uh, curiously do that with the heart and to uh, just try to do better so it's not the work is important but how do it we are doing that work is somewhat important okay bye bye some of my bad okay <laughs> so you can be connected anytime every time that's why i made this study with a mail i expend lots of money on that website so uh, hope getting benefit thank you